Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Midnight Made Night. This is the new game from Zed Technician, who of course made The Man in the Window and The Vermander Curse. Their games are always quite fun and strange, they definitely are very strange, and always have these kind of animal-humanoid hybrids in them. They always have kind of grounded stories though, and I find them quite interesting to play through. So this is a new horror game by Zed Technician called Midnight Made Night. We're gonna dive in, see what it's all about, and... Yeah, let's get going. It's not much more to say. Begin a new game. I'm intrigued to see what this one's all about, because they always have very different gameplay mechanics, you know? So we've got a maid, by the look of it, and she's called Naomi. Naomi says, okay, but really, it makes sense. First you replace a single plank on the ship, then another, and you keep going until like, everything has been replaced and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, when did it stop becoming the ship of Theseus? We've got someone else. Wow, that is weird. What is that, like a giant ant? Yeah, it's a giant ant called Roof. This is another maid by the look of it. Wouldn't it be easier to just build a new ship instead of going for all that? Well, Roof, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. Well, if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. Maybe that's the point of all of this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's out to get you. I don't... I think we're getting off track here. Oh. Uh, hold on, my phone's going off. Okay, shoot. What's wrong? Our two o'clock just cancelled on us. Uh-oh, why is that? Well, I'll read the message to you. Okay, so... Gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. Says she'd rather clean the place herself. And that was the last appointment for me for the month too. There is one more we could do. No, we're not doing that one. Well, we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the van. Then that's the end of the Midnight Maids. So these are the Midnight Maids by the look of it, guys. And I don't think either of us wants to start looking for a new career at this point. Ruth, you're killing me, I swear. Oh, come on now. We don't even have to clean the place, just move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Oh, okay, let's go. So they're going, I think, to this ha haunted place, yeah? They're going to like a haunted mansion or something? That's for Naomi I know. We'll be there in no time. All right, let's go. Yeah, it seems like we're going to somewhere that's like haunted or demonic in some way. Somewhere we shouldn't be going. It's so weird to see a giant ant walking out. What is she meant to be? She's got a human head and like talons like a bird. I'm already getting bad vibes from this place. I'm not too thrilled about it either. But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. I know, I know. It's just... All right, let's go. So we're playing as Roof, I think. All right, what's first on the agenda? I'll check. The estate has been sold and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off. We hired some movers but they unexpectedly left a few hours into work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable so I need you to finish up the job. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it all off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you need to use. You may put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough, says Ruth. You send them a message and let them know we're here. I'll start packing up here first. All right, let's do it. So what do we got? We got a map. We're here, I think, because we've got an X here. And then these are the rooms that we need to clear out. By the way, they sent some instructions for this room. Pack up the books, pack up the old letters, pack up all the papers. There are more instructions for the other rooms here. Just talk to me if you want to hear them, okay? Alright, cool. Do we need to take a box first? Yeah, we take a box and then a book. Cool. And another book. Take all of these books. Ah, we just take the letters as well. It's kind of satisfying doing this. So I think as long as we're holding a box, we can just pack up a whole room by the look of it. The boxes hold quite a lot. There we go, that's this room taken care of now. I better go ahead and take this box out to the van. Be right back, sure thing. Sweet O's, let's go. I mean, what is she? I, I wanna know what this thing is. It's very strange. Is it like a harpy of some kind? I don't know, got moon. Right, 
Midnight Maids, box one done. Do we go back in? Oh, who is this person? Wait, is that Mr. Vermanda? It looks like Mr. Vermanda from the Vermanda Curse, right? I think it is. It's got the same like facial features. Naomi says, oh, hey, Ruth. You didn't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. Scared me almost half to death when he showed up. It is uh, Mr. Vermanda. I can't remember his first name. Terribly sorry about the fright, madame. Though I do have a question I feel I must ask. Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me, has something happened? Well, my friend and I were contracted to move things out here before the new owner shows up. New owner? So we finally lost the estate then. I should have known. So this maybe continues after the Vermanda curse, because in that story he loses the uh, estate at the end of the game. But never mind, I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at this late hour. Uh, tomorrow? Well, I can't do daylight. And I'm nocturnal. So we only work at night. Besides, if we don't finish this job tonight, we don't get paid. I see, I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case, you'll need to keep a close eye out for my father during your work. The man had his fair share of demons in life, and in his current state, it's only gotten worse. But don't worry. The lights in this mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. Should they begin to glow blue, then you'll know he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at that point, right? Well, a family such as ours has its share of enemies. And because of this, every room in this mansion has a secret alcove that can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots, so you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. I'll leave you both to get back to your work. Just pretend that I'm not even here. Okay, well, for the record, I'd like to show that I'm not okay with any of this. Naomi, hush. We'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate... It... Oh, he's left already. He sure is a strange one. And the Understatement of the Year award goes to... <laughs> I like this game. It's got a good sense of humour. Oh, we've got a flashlight, I think. Or have we? I don't know. So basically, when the lights glow blue, that guy's father's come in and he's bad news. We have to hide in these places with scratch marks on the wall. We just press E to interact, we get inside. I see. So it's nice and easy, really. Okay, we better get to work then. We've got all these boxes. So just take a box, any box. Check the map. We need to do all of these rooms, let's go. So. Man, this is already creepy. I'm gonna do this room first, okay? What the heck, there's that Vermander guy again. One would not be able to tell it right now, but our dining room used to be quite the grandiose sight. All manner of patrons have graced its room. Though I sometimes wonder if they still would have visited had they known the truth that really went on here. Alright, well, thanks for the history lesson, I guess, buddy. Do we have to take- oh, we have to take everything from the room, man. We have to take, like, every little last piece. Hopefully you don't hear my clicking on my mouse too badly. Don't know how much I'll show you of this, guys. Do I need to show the whole thing, collecting up every last thing? I don't think so, right? Oh dear, I don't think I can carry any more. I should take this box out to the van. Oh man, okay, we've got to come back. The only problem that I have. Oh! These have turned blue. Does that mean the guy's here? Does that mean I need to hide when they turn blue? Yeah, look, we've hidden. So he comes out now because I think whenever the lights turn blue, basically we hide. And then the father figure comes out, he explores, and then we know it's safe when he turns his back once again. Now the lights have gone back. Yeah, so that's obviously the mechanic at play here. Good to have that out of the way nice and early. We've loaded up another box. Let's get a second one. And let's go and load up some more. Oh. You both seem to be quite adept at this. That other group of movers had already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. And then I get dragged into some insane situation just because we need the money. Last month, we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question. 
Maybe it's because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How was I supposed to know? Do you see what I have to go through? My, my, you two sure are something else. I wish we had more help like you during my time. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. My name is Joseph, Joseph Vermander. There we go, guys, confirmation. I'm Naomi, she's Ruth. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to work now. All right, thanks, man. Because you are holding us up at this point and we are trying to do a job. Let's run back in. Now, the candles look fine, so let's keep going around the room. I kind of wish it was a little bit simpler though, we would just click like one of these and it collects up the whole lot in one in one go, rather than having to click all of these individual pieces. But hey ho, that's what it is, so that's the hand we're dealt. But so far it's fine, we haven't got any blue lights. It's only when the blue lights come on that the weird father guy comes out to try and, uh, oh, light now. So we hide. Now he comes out, he explores, he's like, hmm, I can hear somebody. And he has a look around, but of course we've hidden. He's uh, not the brightest button in the bag. <laughs> I don't think that's the expression, but he, he doesn't think to check the hiding spots, so we're all good. And we can keep collecting up this cutlery, or this silverware, and these plates. Can we get this last plate? I think we might be able to. Yes, I think we've done the room. So now if we go back, deposit the box in the van. I'll check the map as well. Hopefully the map shows. Yeah, we've done the middle room. That's done. Cool. So we go back into the house. Get another box. There we go. So next we need to do the side rooms. So let's go. And I'm kind of scared that there's lights are going to change, you know? I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and do this room. Oh, it's so dark. What the heck? There's a freaking pentagram. You have to collect up all this stuff? Guys, there's no lights in this room. So it's hard to know if I need to hide or not, you know? Alright, I'm just going to do this room quick. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're still good. It's kind of nerve-wracking, having to go back and forth like this. The reason I'm doing this room right at the back is because that will mean I've got less to kind of go back and forth to do. Also, it's one of the creepiest rooms, so let's get out of the way nice and early is what I say. Still all good. That's another candle. Is this done? Is this room done? It looks pretty done. Yeah, it's done. We're good. Let's get out of here. I wonder actually if we can dip into another one of these side rooms. Oh. He just appears. Joseph says, Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. While I of course did my best to respect the help, Father wasn't always so accommodating. God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from wood, you know. Oh god, okay, that's a bit severe. Well, I guess we just collect up what we can, right? Is that it? Are we done with this room? I think we might be. Let's go. The candles are still very much yellow as they should be. So, in we go. Oh, okay, wow. Packed up loads of stuff there. I feel like maybe we just were taking boxes from that room. Um, let's have a look. We need to do all of these rooms. Okay, good. Let's go. What the heck? He's come back. He keeps interrupting us. It's getting rather late, which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius. Who? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. A true paragon of a butler. I haven't had one bad word to say to the man. But, one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived, and you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need in an emergency. Food, water, and enough firewood to last for days. 
However, father wasn't happy, for the man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day, but instead of occupying his time doing something else as a sane person would, he sent poor Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. Father didn't even have the decency to give a man a winter coat to use, he just sent him out wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return, the man met his untimely demise out there in the ice and snow. And now something appears outside every night, just past the gate, something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I know what he wants, but when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long, otherwise you may very well end up face to face with him. Alright, well Cornelius is hanging around outside now guys, another monster great. Just what we need, right? Just what we asked for. Let's check into these rooms. We got a hiding spot there. Do we actually need to like grab all of these boxes? Wait, can you just load up in loads of boxes and then just kind of clear out all the rooms? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, we need to hide, we need to hide, we need to hide. He's coming, I just realised the uh, candles turn blue. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we can grab loads of boxes at once and then load up like throughout the house and then just go back to the van once. I don't know if we've got like a time limit to do all of this or not. It hasn't really explained that side of things too much. Anyway, he's gone now. I guess the test would be if we can collect anything else up now we have all these boxes in our hands. This looks like a, a cellar or like a basement area. I think it's just boxes in these. Nah, we, we have to go back to the van, guys. Now the question is, is Cornelius going to be outside? Because if he is, I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm just going to run. These boxes aren't full. Okay, well, I guess we're going to try and fill them. Okay, so where do we go? What are we trying to do here? Just grab these? There's nothing I can grab in there. Problem is the boxes, you can't carry too many of them at once. What the heck? This is the bedroom. This mansion has been in our family for generations, you know. After my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my father. The help were treated fairly for once. I lowered the prices on all of our properties. I even tried returning all of those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. I was well on my way to pulling our family name out of the mud, you know. But then somehow, father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. He broke just about every law he could while he was still alive. Breaking universal laws was the next logical step. Yep, so he's uh, transcending time and space now. Can we collect anything from this room? It doesn't look like it. Okay, we gotta hide. In, 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 in. Right, now we just wait. Hopefully he doesn't see us. So I think a lot of this is just collecting up boxes from the rooms. However, there are obviously some rooms where we still need to collect, like, trinkets from them and stuff. Ooh. Wow, we got a mirror. That scared me. Carrying all these boxes. Alright, let's go back. What is this for library? Ah, maybe this is where we gotta get the other books from. A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over the generations. So much knowledge. Yet, somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. So they fell. At some point. Alright, let's see guys. That's our hiding spot if we need it. So we gotta collect all these books. So let's try and collect as many as we can. So far, so good. Yeah, so some rooms you're just collecting boxes, some rooms you're collecting up like other objects like the books. I want those lights to turn blue because then I know to hide for a little bit, you know? I also need her to light the way a little bit better. Nice. Oh no, we're full. I should take these boxes to the van, she says. Okay, cool. Man, I think if I go back though, the problem is I'm going to get spotted, I just know it. <laughs> yep. Run. That was close. I just went into a, like, a random room and I was just like, surely every room has a hiding spot, because I think they do. 
So we made it, guys. We're hiding in the bathroom, cowering behind the wall. Oh, we can see him in the mirror there. You see him then, guys. It was like this, um... He looked a bit Amish, to be fair, with the little beard and the slacks he was wearing. But yeah, I just saw his reflection in the mirror there. So this is like a living room area. I think we have to collect up plates and stuff in here. We'll go back to the van. Deposit all of this stuff. There we go. Let's get back in the house. So, let's see. We can take four boxes at once. So before, I was kind of being a bit silly because I was going up with one box. Because she's an ant, she can carry like so many boxes at once. So we just need to figure out in the living room where the hiding spot is, which is over there. So let's start collecting up all of this stuff. There we go. Then we'll go back to the library after this. Oh, we need to collect the pictures from the walls. Although I don't think the pictures on the walls actually have anything in them. I just picture frames. That's fair enough. So I think we've done this room. The question is, are we going to get those lights turning to blue again? If they do, we'll just hide. I think there's a hiding spot in the library as well. Let's keep grabbing these books. Still good, we're still good, we're still good. Nice. Uh, all good there. I really need that flashlight that you've got. Your phone torch is awful, by the way. It's awful. Is that good? Are we are we done? I think we're done. That seems to be it. I can't really see, guys. It's so dark this game. I'm gonna have to brighten it up in the edit. Oh, we have to hide. Go, go, go. Right, here we go. Now we lay low. I wonder with that pentagram thing as well, like, were we meant to leave that? Because that seems set up, you know, maybe to banish something, or maybe to summon something, I don't know, either way. It was strange, right? And I can hear some weird sounds as well. Never mind, I guess. Out to the van we go. Deposit. These boxes aren't full. Oh, okay, we've still got some boxes that aren't full. So what rooms do we have left? We've got, Man, we've got quite a few left still. It seems like the library isn't actually done yet, which is strange. We need to get this box, which is full. So this room should be done now. There we go. Found some stuff in here, guys. But we needed to... Uh, some towels that we needed to put in there. We'll go back to the library, just do another double check, because it seems like this room, we, we'd forgotten something. Oh, we got to take the candles from there. Ah. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done in that room. Now, hopefully the candles don't change as we're going back, because that would be bad. They've changed. They've changed, guys. Run. Yes, I think we made it. That was really close. I don't know how long we get, but I felt like we cut that a bit short there. He comes in. He doesn't see us. Good. Now off you go. Nice. Right. Open. Ah. <sighs> Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. So let's go back, deposit these boxes, and then we'll see what we need to do next. Now let's see, we've done that room. Oh, the bathroom still seems like there's stuff in there that we need to collect. But we need to go back that way anyway. Wait, this dude's talking to us again? I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself, but for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Agatha doesn't sound good already. Agatha used to be part of the help. Like Cornelius, she too was exemplary as a servant. Throughout her time here, both she and I grew close. Very close. Oh well. And despite knowing full well the impact it would have on the family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up on my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted for us to be together. 
But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, father found out. Again and again I asked him, where is she? And what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he hadn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards where she belonged. Man, his dad is ruthless. They're like truly evil man. Then he went on about his day reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing had happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like that. She'll probably wake up soon. Should you see the candle suddenly go out, you know she's in the same room. You know I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognises me anymore. She just runs away if I even look at her. Right, so if she shows up when the candles go out, I guess we just hide, right? It's like the same deal again, we just hide. So, I guess we give it our best shot. Hopefully Agatha doesn't get us. I kind of like how it introduces more mechanics as we go through, you know? Right, how many boxes have we got? I think we're full, so we go back now. Please do not go out as we're walking back this way. That would be very bad. Are they going to go out? Are they going to go out? They haven't so far. So far so good. Oh, they have. They actually make a little sound as well. That's kind of good. They kind of make a sound when they go out. So let's see if this works. Now we're hiding. I swear to God, if Agatha, like, can get us in the hiding spot. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do if that happens, right? What do I do? Do I just wait? I'm not getting any, like, idea if she's gone or not. Oh, okay. I think, no, this is the other guy. So I think we hide from Agatha, we don't know actually when she goes. This is really confusing me, because that was the other dude, that was the dad, right? But the candles are lit again, so I guess it worked. It's not very clear, like, if that's worked or not. Anyway, never mind, let's go. So we've done that room, we need to do bedroom, and it's just all the far rooms now that we need to do. So let's speed run this. A job well done, we'll take our paycheck, we'll go guys. We do not need to be here any longer than is necessary, right? Candles are still on. Let's go back. I don't think we can carry any more than three boxes at once. Let's go. Out my way, we don't want to be out any longer than we need to. Right, so it's just the rooms at the back. So up we go to the back. Once again, this time I'll try lighting some of the candles if they go out. I don't know if we have a lighter, but I'll just try it just to see what happens. I can hear a weird sound. Oh my God. That was Agatha. Okay, we escaped. I think that was Agatha then guys. I saw this wolf. And I think that's meant to be Agatha, right? That was freaky. But I don't know how we, like, avoid her. I just saw her and she just, just like, kind of rushed us. But it didn't seem to do anything. I don't know if I escaped her because I hid in the, the cupboard there. We'll keep, we'll keep searching, keep getting these boxes. Need to do these rooms fast, you know? There's a box. We'll take that. Out my way. Oh. Oh my god, there she is. Seriously, she just appeared right next to us. That is nuts. Like, what do we do when she, like, shows up? Because she was just in the room. Do we go back out? No, she's still in here. I just don't understand the mechanic. Does Agatha even do anything to us? I don't know that Agatha even does anything to us. The candles are still out, I think. Oh no, they're not. They're lit now. We're good. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh great, we've got to hide again from this dude now. So I have no idea, guys, anyway, what <laughs> how we deal with Agatha, but I know what, when the candles turn blue, this guy will search for us, and he's very easy to understand the mechanics of. It seems like Agatha, that like wolf or whatever she is, it's just like almost impossible to tell what the game wants us to do when she shows up. It's kind of like, it seems like it wants us to just hide. 
Anyway, back to the van. Let's deposit some more boxes. Earn our keep. Get the shift done. There we go. More boxes. Oh. Oh, it's just in this room that the candles have gone out. So we can we can run away. I think. If I die now, I'll be annoyed. But I think that's the mechanic. When the candles go out, the fox is standing in the corner. We just leave the room. And that's all we got to do. If that's the mechanic, that's quite nice. Because that's nice and easy to, like, understand and to kind of get past. Oh, we can't pick up any more boxes. Okay, so we're going back now. Yeah, it makes a bit more sense. It's like it only affects the room that you stood in. So you just leave it. So, like, now those candles have gone out. So I'm leaving that room immediately. Oh, but we have to hide. So we hide in here. There we go. I like, I'm glad that I understand that now because that was kind of annoying me. Like I didn't get it why we were like hiding and nothing was happening. And I thought I'm just going to get killed now. I almost thought it was maybe bugging out a little bit. But it's uh, it's not. And I don't know if she does get us if we stay in the room for too long. She, she sort of seemed to rush us at one time. But I don't know. I haven't seen the guy outside yet. But I think we just don't stay outside for too long. So let's have a look. Well, there's, only, there's only one room left to do, so let's go for it. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah, it looks like we're done. Leaving already? Yep, we're all done here. Thankfully. No offense, my guy, but your house creeps me out. Haha, <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm going to miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know. But it's high time for me to move on. There's no point in haunting this place a moment longer, for our time here is over. I have to thank you both for helping me realise that. Without you here, I suppose I would never have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. Honestly, this is nothing new for us. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks to the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. So he's actually a ghost. I assumed he was just like the dude that was like staying there, but he's like uh, haunting this place, yeah. I'd expect nothing else from the Midnight Maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? Oh god, what's this? Oh, it's for dad. Of course it is. Look at that thing. Jeremiah. You're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, father? No. I'm done with you. My whole life has revolved around you. I spent the entirety of my youth trying my best to please you, yet you only thought of yourself. And I spent the rest of my short time here trying in vain to atone for your evil deeds. I refuse to let you ruin the afterlife as well. That's it. So what's he gonna do? Oh my god, then we've got Agatha behind. It sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Agatha? You... you still remember me? This is like some furry <laughs> shenanigans right now. Why haven't you sent anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf. I thought giving you the silent treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Exactly. Now come on, let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. What a bet, old man. Okay, this kind of seems like a happy ending. There we go. They're moving over to the afterlife. That's kind of nice. Leaving him behind to be miserable by himself. This is your fault. If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. You're going to pay for that. Oh my god. Oh, maybe not. We got the Undertaker, dude. Well, not the Undertaker. Butler, Cornelius. Ah, there you are, sir. Here. That newspaper you wanted. I asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, huh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir. There's a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. I think he's talking about the gates of hell opening up for him, right? Jeremiah's burden. Oh, what is this? No, I will not go yet. My legacy! I must preserve it! Ah! He's dead. He's gone. 
Boom. There's Cornelius. It's like Jack Skeleton or something. Righto, well, that's me finally sorted. I'd better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. Don't know, his voice keeps changing. I'm not doing his voice very well, but never mind, he's gone. And Naomi says, never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. And I think that looks like the ending of the game. The Midnight Maids are out of here. Nice. Now what kind of ending was that? Sometimes they have like one or two different endings in, this, in these games. That seemed like the good ending, right? Yeah, we got a star. So that, that means if you get the star in Z Technician's games, it means that you've got the best ending. So that is the good ending. There's probably an ending that you get if you are unsuccessful in the night. But luckily I was quite thorough with my first playthrough, so we got the good ending first time. I might do like a story explain video because this does cover the Vermanda lore. And I did a story explain video on the Vermanda curse, which I'll link in a minute at the end of this one if you want to watch it. So I might do a story explain video and then I'll show you the bad ending as well in that one. I'm not going to bother doing it in this one because it's probably something really naff like just the night was cut short and you see one of the characters get killed or something. But we got the good ending. That's the important one to get. With that said, thank you for watching today. I enjoyed that game. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave me a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you on the next one.